Hey, Lucy, enjoy. She's got the comb. Hello, chickadee. I need to loosen up my hip. 53 degrees, which is the equivalent of about 75. Real feel. Today I'm gonna go walk to the prairie dog colony from this side to see if it's possible along the track of the old 10 mile road, which is on this side. It'll be a long one. Kind of an interesting bush, half bushwhack though. It was an incredible, incredible day, so I got to take advantage of it. Been inside for so long. Okay, that's what we're doing now. Come along if you have the patience or care. Now we're coming up on the, uh, I'd say the old dump. This is the most recent old dump. The most traditional one. It was in the 1900s. Alright, I may as well show myself. I ain't purdy no more. I used to be purdy. Perhaps I'll be purdy again once I get some extensive work done. But I'm still walking the planet, so that's an important thing. Alright, onward. Wonderful day. Uh, thanks for coming along with me. I don't know if anybody's out there for real, but it's kind of a comfort out here. road as far as I know is between this little saddle and goes around that that I'm sure of and I'll hook up with it on the other side this is a somewhat more direct route and here's that little area where we got some skunk action probably all the same skunks anyway. not a great lift but somebody gotta be careful to down there involuntarily or a water diversion canal and or water management canal it's got to be diversion. It goes, oh, until uh, a little natural drainage right there at the base of the hills and then goes up that way into that canyon to a little lower area that's labeled Cloudburst Reservoir. So here we got more or less a dating trail. This is all that's left of this old wagon track. And then we joined the, just about the same condition road over here. And we cut off over to that old dump where that den is. I don't see any reason to go over there. I thought there might be some snow. Maybe there would be a track or something to be seen, but not, not now. It's muddy a little bit. It's soft, I should say. Most of it's dry. I made the tactical, or I should say strategic, decision to wear these good Nikes because I want to be light and maneuverable. I'm not tromping through snow or thick mud or anything like that. There's the old 10, 10 mile road over there. It's bare up there and you can really tell that it's a road, but uh, right now, no, not too much. But when I walked up here last couple months ago, I was able to make it okay, figure it out. Well, you can see why I wouldn't be doing this in the summertime. Impossible. All this, by the way, is yellow clover that just exploded last year. That's why in all those summer shots you see all that beautiful yellow. Well, it's not crops or anything, it's just stuff. Oh, well, it's no big deal. But... Gotta point something out. Uh, anyway, you can tell that it is a road. It's kind of neat. Not too bad. Getting a boom level tracking. So I'm going to show this and I'll try to shut up a little bit and just let the scenery speak for itself. Well, can you imagine doing this like in 1920 and everything? I bet there are places where you had to shovel your way out. Call these little natural water courses or gulches. Uh, there's one about 50, 50 times, about a dozen times bigger that again goes up into those canyons. You can actually go up into them. I haven't yet, but I saw on the map that it connects to that reservoir. So, uh, that comes down there and that's where they have this connected. It'll be pretty, it'll be obvious when I get there, but I will uh, mercifully not inflict any yammering. Okay, beautiful day. Sudden muddy patches. It's not stopping me or anything, not even that deep, but man, I bet that would just stop a 1920s car. Oh yeah, right there is a mark. Oh, let's see. It's a marker for the National Forest, Custer National Forest, is marking this line. This is Buckshot's Croft over there, more Buckshot. Canyons on the other side, Custer National Forest. Uh, this is all Custer National Forest. Purple Grand, I say. Uh, but that, of course, is the rest of the private. That's why there's no way you can access this area with a remarkable elk population to hunt unless you backtrack for, my, I mean, like six miles that way just to get to a legal crossing. Too bad. And for those of you who think there might be a utility corridor or a little trail, there's not. Every time I thought so, I got into really thick stuff. So I guess they were using this and just the lateral access. Oh, 
Okay, kind of losing it here, as I did last time. This still looks like two shadows of the path. That is, a, that is a popular game trail. And you always wonder if it goes up further into drier territory, but I can't take a chance. I'm just going to have to continue going this way. Um, when on old roads, as you probably see, there's a tree where we have that uh, wider gulch. And uh, there were probably about three or four detours around it, depending upon the current weather that the people were facing. Either way, I can you know, stay on that side of the creek. I can just freaking bushwhack. It's not that bad. Over the town. What is this? This looks more roady. It's got to go that way, though. Oh, it's down there? Well, by the pole, of course. I didn't see any. Maybe I got off the actual road. This is what you face. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna... Go up here a little bit just to see. We need to go that way. This is in pretty good shape for a quote-unquote side road that goes up to the reservoir. I really want to walk into that canyon one day. <laughs> this would be a bad day, too. Maybe it's not as far as I think it is. Oh, it's probably not. Okay, so that... Fizzles out here. I would think that maybe if you're crossing this big huge gully over here, then uh, further up would be better. I wondered if it would come up and then go that way. I'm gonna track over there. Well, that doesn't even look like it could go up to the reservoir. There's nothing over there. So where's this go? I bet it did go this way. No, there is a gate. Sorry. All right, let's go this way anyway. I suspect this one's carried water down from that reservoir. This is a deeper I'm talking about. Here we're a little bit further up. It's deeper and narrow, narrower. But I wonder if these are the remains of the road. I mean, that's steep and everything, but they might have come down there, might have come down there. And there's a shallower place over there. Okay, I'm just going to cross right here and then continue this way to Prairie Dog. Thanks, there's another one. I can go around it at this point. Okay, this is all new, all new to me from this uh, point. At least on this side of the valley. I do think the old road's way over here somewhere. Keep working this way. Straight up some white tail. Oh, what's going on now? Look, look at this uh, whole area of bottom line. There's probably a creek or ponds or things. The road probably went around it. The level we were walking on. Well, there's the power poles again. I'm just going to go ahead and cross this. It might be interesting in itself. I don't really care too much about the road. We're going to wander around too much looking for it. I should mention, too, that you see these poles bent down all the time. Uh, that's not like the equivalent of shooting up signs. It's the cattle using them as scratching posts. Three firewoods. Good to see you, Tongue River. What the co-op? This is sometimes some of the neatest exploration where you don't have a road. I would appreciate a trail, though. This looks vaguely familiar. When I was coming back from the, uh, from the, from the colony the first time, I ended up following this, gravitating this way instead of following the road, which is way over there. And that was making me complain, thus a comment about get, uh, getting in trouble if you assume that there's a little road. Here's one here. I think the colony's right here. I think I'm already there. Geez, that was like a stroll down to the corner store. It's starting to look really familiar. It is. That, 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 that was only like 10 minutes longer than where I stopped turned around before. Because that is Cold Creek right there. I really under overestimated that. Uh, it's on VGA, but there's a windmill, which means that the uh, colony is on that slope. I think I'm going to go over to the windmill, maybe place it at that one chattery colony right before. I'm going to go snoop around here. All right, very pleased. That's a uh, time device. I got my phone. Hold on. 12.58 now. I didn't plan on it, but I looked at the clock just as I'm leaving, and it was straight up 12 noon. So that was only an hour away by foot on my own terms. I like that. Of course, in good weather. Approach conditions. Got a little low on it right now, but got a pretty good breeze going that way. So my stink is already blowing over there. They're probably sniffing it. It's right over this rise. And if you can see the bear spot up there, there's a bunch of dogs right before that. So they're going to start their alarm calls. I will shut up and I'll kick it up to uh, the highest step I have. Look. Okay, here we go. We got one new seasoning. I know he sees me. See if I get him in frame. What? There he is. Right in the center.
I wonder how much the wind is drowning this out. I only sneezed. That wasn't that wasn't a challenge. When I came here before there was so much brush I could barely even tell that there was lumber over here. Oh cool windmill! Last time I was here it was like this breathing you weren't going and then suddenly when I looked up you moved. Was that a move for me? A salute? Recognition? Here I am again. And... Now. I'm gonna sit down here, take a little break. And then, because I'm way up here, there is a road I saw. I think it's just this wagon path here. Uh, easier trail, more direct. On the other side of this ridge, it goes into uh, that area where that cloudburst reservoir is, which is really just a small depression in the ground. But uh, take a look at that. I am, uh, again, surprised I got here so fast. It would have been only about 40 minutes, too, but I was dinking around in backtracks and exploring little side things. I am pleased. Again, conditions are helpful to that. What is that? Ew, gross. Ew, gross. Ew, gross. Find some kind of fungus. You guys are fine. I know there are cattle here. I don't know if this is working, that, that rock. I don't know anything about wells. I mean, it's connected, but it's obviously not pumping. And this is a decent breed. This is like a, it's like a fried, frozen algae or something. It's like a old mattress that rotted away. And this kind of seems more than rainwater. Don't do it. Don't do it. Four points of contact, long and wiry, and everything like that. It's very easy, but you always have the butt. No reason for that. All right, head on back. After I look over here, lots of good peeps, but it's too windy. Should be better in camp. I'm wasting now. It makes it pretty miserable. Of course, you know, 60 degrees or something. Still better than average winter. The canyon should be a bit more protected. Fairy dog colony. There's that lower marshy area that I went into. This is the ridge before the valley. And this is that gulch that took the water from the so-called reservoir. Which is 
Game trails are what, but this here are pretty nice. Oh, I see mice in here. Rodents. Bulls. Canada Drive and Trail, registered 49 New York, contemporary. Got away from that trail because it was still within the trees and a little bit soggy. I just need to go up and follow the center of this. See why I spin up my videos? Because I always have gaps in what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, how do I go down? Well, I'm going to pay for this in my hip, but it's really good for the exercise, even though it uh, it hurts. So this move. Go down the middle of this. Well, that's definitely a dike, a dam. So they just let this fill up. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Cloudburst Reservoir. Quite a name. Looks like I can get into the canyons a little bit more. It's narrow, even more narrow. Let's just keep getting more narrow and uh, higher up. So, turn back. Ew. And this is fairly easy, straightforward. And there is a bigger reservoir. I'm uh, sure it wasn't filled at one time when they were managing the water. Well, this is the extent of the penetration so far today and thus far. Raising. That's cool. It'd be kind of nice to have a little gravity belt to just kind of fly over there and see it. I'm sure it turns on itself. Dead ends in a giant canyon, per usual. Very complex series of ridges and stuff on the map. Probably is a trail on the bottom. Looks like wildfire at one time, cleared that out. I can't be doing these mega heights though. I should start on that. Glorious day. High salt content. These are, this is probably completely soaked and then it dissipated out. I don't know if that's what it is. No, I'm not going to. I am not going to look even if I think it's salt. His footprints are coming from this little uh, badlands area that's mostly dry but muddy. Good place for tracks. <laughs> 